Are you a serious dinosaur collector that wants to make better buying decisions? If so, this is the show for you. Welcome to episode 34 of the Dinosaur Review Show. Today we continue our foray into the world of T-Rex. We are going to look at the T-Rex figures from the Beasts of the Mesozoic. As a disclaimer, BOM carries five different models of T-Rex figures. Two of them are simply solid gray versions of figures that are colored. One of them is their Super Deluxe model. It has a price point of $240. As such, we do not carry it here at Happy Hunt Toys. And they also have a gray version of that Super Deluxe model, which since we don't carry the Super Deluxe model, we don't carry the plain gray version. So today we are going to look at two Beasts of the Mesozoic figures, one a T-Rex, one a Juvenile T-Rex. George, after all that, where would you like to get started? Let's get started with the Juvenile. So here we have a fully articulated figure, which Beast of the Mesozoic is very well known for. I want to take a closer look at the head first. Um, notice that it has lips. So this little guy had its teeth hidden away for when it was able to hunt for prey. It could pop them out and do some major damage. Now, I will say the basic body shape of this uh, juvenile tyrannosaur is probably based off of Jane the Tyrannosaur, which was a, a juvenile T-Rex skeleton found a very nice specimen and it has that ba basic solosaur kind of build which is that sort of branch of meat-eating dinosaurs that have this athletic build in their bodies so i want to look at the arms next this is a beautifully pronated tyrannosaur arm it even has a wrist articulation elbow articulation and arm articulation pretty cool with the legs everything's jointed from the knee to the ankle that is really good to the toes and there's some little sockets here for a base attachment that comes with the figure it does have its backward facing toe and three forward facing ones and let's see if it has a cloaca i don't think i see one this tail is flexible so it has that kind of flexibility for it and it has a stripe pattern from all the way from the tip of the tail to the base of the tail, and then it goes into a spotted pattern. So quite quite the variety there. I, I would say this is a pretty pretty neat figure. Are the scales accurate? The scales are very accurate. They're consistent with what we found in T-Rex specimens before. The scales on the feet are very similar to what we see in birds. You can pose the legs to be more accurate, and then you can also pose them to not be accurate. <laughs> so the non-accurate would be like if they stood up like this. Instead, it would stand in a more dynamic pose like that. With its, with its ankle facing backwards and its knee bent forwards, just like that. Okay, George, let's take a look at the adult T-Rex next. Here is the adult, and look at this. This is a monster. This guy is demanding attention and respect, and it also has an articulated jaw. This dinosaur also has lips, but look at this these bony keratinous sheaths over its eyes and all the way down to the tip of its nose. This guy looks very cool and dangerous. Looking down to the arms, looking a little less dangerous are its two-fingered inward-facing arms. That's a good detail. Articulated elbow. If we move on to the legs, they have three forward-facing toes and one backwards-facing. If we flip it over, we have the cloaca right there. Tail is articulated, and it's only flexible at the tip, just like the juvenile one was. It also has that same striped pattern leading into that spotted pattern with a bit more uh, of a darker color. Okay, George, what is your overall thought on the articulation from Beasts of the Mesozoic? I will say I'm not a fan of articulation because it really cuts into a lot of detail that some of the figures may have. And I'm someone who mostly uses them for education and display. So articulation uh, is more of a feature that will allow you to pose it or play with it more. That may be for some people, for me personally, I personally don't like the articulation so i would say it's not my favorite but they do put their articulation in the right places and that's something that i respect in terms of overall accuracy would you declare these two figures as being generally accurate i would say so they put a lot of research into them their features are very well backed up by science and that's something that i always look for in figures and they've checked all the boxes when it comes to that Articulation aside, are these figures that you would consider adding to your collection? I would, uh, especially the juvenile. They don't make enough good juveniles. Typically, they make a, a smaller version of a T-Rex like we talked about in other videos. But this T-Rex is basically, you know, we have a good understanding of adult T-Rexes. What we don't have many 
of are the juveniles. So I would consider adding the juvenile to my collection. If you like this episode, please give us a thumbs up and we look forward to seeing you in our next episode.